Well, I've got three kids at home, and sometimes I feel like I don't have time to breathe some days. But imagine having nine kids, working full time, and writing a book. Yeah, that's the life of our next guest. His novel, called Senile Squad, is available now. It's about a retirement home built for old police officers. His words, I don't want to call anybody <laughs> no, old, but he, he does. He says that. Chris LeGros' <laughs> own experiences inspire this thing. Good to see that's you back right. here, Chris. Welcome nice to be back. back. It's nice to be back. It's a beautiful place. <laughs> <laughs> we, well, we, we did, um, since your last we, visit here, we've we made a few changes. Yeah. We did. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very uh, nice. Uh, when you start out with the force, uh, you met some characters. Were they inspired by this? Oh, when I came on the department uh, 17, 18 years ago, we still had guys that were officers from the 60s mm. and the early 70s. You couldn't outstory them. You couldn't, nothing right. phased them. And uh, like you and I would come back from a shift, a tour, and I'd say, oh, you should have seen what happened to me today. And we'd talk about it. And at the end of the table, you'd hear, ha. Ah. <laughs> and we'd look down and say, what? <laughs> you should have seen back in my day. We had this. And all the officers in the room would go, what? <laughs> just hear these incredible And just, and we'd all be m speechless. Uh -huh. Yeah. They couldn't, you couldn't outstory them. They were fantastic yeah. old uh -huh. guys. Yeah. It so sounds like they, they left a real impression because you, oh, you sure. remember it all these years later and oh, to yes. the point that they inspired this book. So set up the plot for us in Senile Squad. Well, in Senile Squad, basically what it is is a group of very wealthy individuals who see the value of the, the experience that old folks have, old police officers. They see what's going on in the community and they want to help. Mm -hmm. yeah. But they also want to help these old guys who are now rotting away in retirement and they want to, so they buy this old uh, building, uh, old re veterans retirement home, mm -hmm. retrofit it with all the latest gadgetry that these officers can use and they make it so these officers, they're retired old cops, they play like they're old cops, but in reality, they sneak out and fight crime, sneak back in under the nurses' noses, under the police's <laughs> noses, because the police can't know they're doing it, uh -huh. and they just try and do things quietly and, and secretly, uh, but they still fight crime. Mm -hmm. and and so it's, it's just kind of a fun story, I think. It's fictional. It's fictional, <laughs> right. yes, yes. Uh, but how would you, what, what genre would you put this book in? Because mm -hmm. you even said that some of your publishers were having a hard time figuring out what genre. They couldn't figure it. out what to put this book under. Yeah. They said, well, it's a police, but it's not quite a drama. It's yeah. comedy, it's hysterical. But what do we put it under? And one uh, reviewer, and the, the reviews have been fantastic on it, I've been very pleasantly surprised, says this book stands in a corner and dares you to try and pigeonhole it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because we can't quite put it together. It's uh -huh. not a radical comedy like Airplane or Police Story, those kind of things, but it's got a story to it and it's funny. And so mm -hmm. it, it, I enjoy the, making, some, making them squirm a uh -huh. little bit. You're a first time novelist. Yes, I am. I, not that I need to tell you that. Yes. Um, <laughs> how did you find the writing process and, and were there any surprises throughout? Well, the, <laughs> the writing was crazy mm -hmm. because my kids are still in school. I, I have nine children. Yeah. I have, we had three of our own and then we adopted and took care kids in, foster care and those type of things. And um, I'm pretty sure my wife snuck a couple of them in because I don't know who they are. I'm trying to figure out this kid's name. I don't know. Um, but I had, I was writing at 1, 30, 2 in the morning, mm. uh, trying to, because the kids needed the computer for their homework mm -hmm. and stuff. So it was kind of crazy doing that, uh, mm -hmm. getting time to, 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 to put the story together. I kept having it in my head and how I wanted to do it. And uh, had some great friends who helped me who were writers as well. Um, and putting it all together eventually it took a couple of years, but mm -hmm. we got yeah. it together well, and I'm, came up with a pretty I'm good book. I'm looking at this, Chris. This is 302 pages. Mm. Yes. Um, did you have, aside from writing police reports, uh, what other writing experience did you have? Not much, <laughs> other than writing <laughs> police reports. Right. Yeah. reports. The other part was, like I said, with nine children and, and, and different things I did, but like Boy Scouts and all that, mm -hmm. I told stories. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that was basically it. And there's a real trick from telling stories to getting it down in writing to where yeah. people can conceptualize what you're talking about. Follow so it took it. a lot of work and yeah. stuff. So. What do your colleagues think at the department about you now? I'm sure. Oh, Mr. Big her. Wig, Mr. Right. Big Guy. Yeah, you're writing a book. Yeah, we are, you know, so that just comes with being a cop. They're uh -huh. always going to do that. Uh -huh. Hey, Chris, while you're here, I'd like to switch gears because it's such a, a timely subject and, you know, important to a lot of people across the country and our community as well. But one of the things I think a lot of us have been proud of is to see the community here supporting um, our men and women in uniform. Do you, oh, yes. as an officer, do you feel that? And then um, what, what can we do? What are some of the most meaningful things we can do to show that love and support? Uh, that's a very good question. I have often just sat there and had people tap me on the shoulder and said, thank you for your service. Mm -hmm. um, 
I think also there's a timeliness in how this book came out because it's more of a, a lighthearted look at things, and I think mm -hmm. we need that now. Mm -hmm. I think we need to take a step back in society and say, okay, let's take a breath. Let's try and look at things differently. Let's see where we can change, and let's see what, you know, which needs, what needs to be changed in all aspects of our society, and then let's go accordingly. And that's, so taking that breath, I think, would be helpful to us. So I think maybe looking at a story of police work might be a little yeah. bit helpful. Well, I can tell you, some of the police officer friends that I have, they do say that the national conversation was going on weighs on them as officers, but here in Omaha, does, yeah. they do feel like when they, they get those congratulations from people in the mm -hmm. community or the thanks and mm -hmm. the pat on the back, it does make them feel a little it makes, better. It, 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 it's, it's beyond words. Mm -hmm. It's hard to put into words. I feel kind of uncomfortable sometimes when people say, oh, thank you so much, mm -hmm. and uh -huh. you know, and I say, geez, if I could do this for nothing, I'd do it. Yeah. You know, because mm -hmm. I enjoy helping people. I enjoy, enjoy what I do. Mm. Yeah. Back I think to that's the, a great place to leave that part of the conversation. Back to the Senile Squad. It's available where you can get books. It's on Amazon. On Amazon. Mm -hmm. Right now, you can get it on Amazon. Go there. Uh, any other places locally? SenileSquad.com. Mm -hmm. uh, you can it's, uh, got the website here. Uh, look in your different places locally as well. Uh -huh. So we'll see. It's just getting out there now, yeah. and we're hoping the... The uh, reviews have been very good, yeah. and I've good. been shocked at how well, well it's been Well, a labor of love. Congratulations well, on yeah. seeing it through, and it's great to have you here today. My tenth Chris. child. Yes, <laughs> 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 Sounds like you might have a few more coming, uh, too. That's why I have no hair. Uh, <laughs> All right, thanks for coming in. All right, classic cars.